Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome and thanks very much for visiting us here at Zoltan's Bass Lounge. I hope that you're doing really well and your playing is getting better. So um, let's get straight into it and enjoy the lesson that's coming up next. Now let me talk to you about chromatic runs and just how good they are for um, learning different finger patterns and adjusting our finger patterns and also learning our notes on different strings at a time. Okay, so um, and what do I mean by adjusting finger patterns? Uh, by adjusting finger patterns, I mean that you make a certain quick shift fr uh, from the same finger to the same finger, just a half note at a time, or maybe a, a, a whole tone at a time the most, okay? And that shift, or that little adjustment, straight away as you start to play something, will allow you then to complete a run, a real nice logical and simple way, okay? For example, if I wanted to take um, this open G and play all of my notes in the chromatic scale to a B natural up here on that G string, right? I could just start playing the A flat with my first finger, the A with my second finger. I could then again come up to this B flat with my first finger and to the B. But it's, it's a little bit, it's fine to do, but uh, there is a better solution, okay? And that would be to simply adjust your finger pattern just once as you start playing your stop notes. Okay, so from this A flat, I'm gonna adjust that A flat first finger to the A first finger. And watch, the rest of the notes, the A, B flat, and B natural, just falls under my, under my hand right there without uh, having to move anything else anymore. Okay, now to descend, what happens in these kind of cases, you know, is that um, if you adjusted your finger pattern once on the way up, more than likely you can just adjust your finger pattern once on the way back as well, the same way you adjusted on the way up. So on the way up, we adjusted a whole, a, a uh, semitone, I'm sorry, a half tone, okay? So on the way back, I'm pretty sure if I just adjust a half tone again from the fourth finger on the B, to the fourth finger on the B flat. Then now I can play the B flat, A second finger, A flat first finger, and open G. So everything else comes out very logically and very um, very easily. Okay, just it, it really just falls under your hand. Again, all these notes, the rest of the notes that you have to play. Okay. So that is that is what I mean by adjusting your finger pattern. Now, do not get me wrong. We only adjust one time with any run on the way up maybe or one time on the way back so you get a nice logical finger pattern okay so do not adjust anymore you know that is not the idea playing notes after notes with the same finger that will lead to uh, lead to all sorts of technical problems and, and intonation and everything will just uh, kind of go out the uh, window <laughs> okay now so um that's adjusting your finger pattern so um let's just go through these notes here in the lower positions and basically what, uh, what we'll do, we'll get all the way up to this to this E flat. So we'll cover all of our lower position notes here. Okay, so let's start with the um, open G string, A flat on the first finger and I'm gonna make the adjustment from A flat to A, first finger to first finger. So my second finger can play the B flat and the fourth finger can play the B natural, okay? Now on the way back, I'm gonna start with that B on the fourth finger, a one time half note adjustment come back to come back to that B flat from the B natural to B flat, okay? And the rest is easy. Play your A with your second finger, your A flat with your first finger and open G. And in the meantime, see how you can really easily learn your notes as well. G, A flat, A, B flat, B, B, B flat, A, A flat, G. Okay. Now let's take this chromatic run a half note longer. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way up to the C here from, from that open G. Okay. Now this time, I'm gonna play the A flat with my first finger the A with my second finger, and here I'm gonna shift and change position. So from the second finger on the A, I'm gonna change 
to the first finger on the B flat. Again, first finger on the B flat from the A. And here, watch this. B flat first finger, B second finger, and C natural. All there. You know, very easily played, right? Now, because I played the first two fingers here on the way up, I'm going to play my fourth finger and my second finger. So the first two fingers, the first two fingers descending here, right? Uh, your fourth finger and your second finger. And now I'm going to switch and I'm going to make that shift from that second finger on the B to the fourth finger on the B flat. Okay, so again from that B to the fourth finger onto the B flat. And everything else is very easy now. A on the a second finger, A flat on the first finger and open G. So that again would be G, A flat, A, make the shift and a position change, B flat first, B second, and C fourth finger. And on the way back, C four, B second, shift, B flat four, A second, A flat first, and open G. Okay. Now, how about if I have to go all the way up to this D flat here? Okay. I think I can actually, this time, I don't think I really have to adjust anything. So I can probably just go from this A flat first finger, A second finger, B flat fourth finger, and just shift from this B flat to the next position, to, to the B natural on my first finger. So B flat four, first finger on the B, and now play the C with your second finger, and the D flat or C sharp with your fourth finger. And because we didn't adjust anything on the way up, I'm not going to adjust anything on the way back either. So descending, which is going to come from the C sharp or D flat, fourth fingers, two on the C, now one on the B. Now this is where you make your shift and come back to the four on the B flat, and the rest is easy. A on the second finger, A flat on the first finger, and the open G. Okay. So all together, this is G, A flat one, A two, B flat four, make the shift, B one, C two, C sharp four and descending C sharp four, C to B, make the change, B flat four, A, A flat one, A second, A flat one or G sharp, and open G. Okay. Now, uh, to be able to go up to that D after we just actually passed that D flat here, or C sharp, I think I'm going to have to make just one adjustment now again, sorry, one half note adjustment. So from that A flat, I'm going to, to, I'm going to pull my first finger up to an A natural. That will give me the B flat on the second finger, the B natural on my fourth finger. And if I make the change now from this position to the next, uh, to the next um, hand position, I have to go. So from this B, I'm going to have to go up to that first finger playing the C. And that time, Look at this, the C, C sharp or D flat, and the D is right there for me. So the C fourth, uh, first finger, the C sharp second finger, and, and the D fourth finger, all right there, okay? And because I made one adjustment on the way up, I'm gonna make just one quick adjustment on the way down as well, and look, look what happens. So I'm gonna play the D straight back to the D flat, four, four, both times, so four, four, and the rest is easy, C on the second finger, B on the first finger, now switch to the next hand position to B flat on the fourth finger, A, second finger, G sharp or A flat on the first finger, and your open G, okay. So all together that would be an open G, A, adjustment, A first finger, B flat second finger, B fourth finger, 
Now shifting to another hand position to C, starting with the C on your first finger. Okay, C sharp second finger, D and D, adjusting four to four, C sharp, C, B, first finger, B flat, fourth finger, A, second finger, G sharp, first finger, and open G. Okay. Now to get to uh, get all the way up to that E flat here, I'm gonna start with the A flat, play the A as well. So play the first two fingers here. And this is where I'm gonna switch to the B flat. So G, A flat first finger, second finger on the A. Now switch to your B flat, to your first finger. And that will give you the uh, B flat, second finger on the B, fourth finger on the C. Now let's switch to the uh, next position where we'll play the C sharp with our first finger. And that will give us the C sharp first finger, D, second finger, and the E flat. Yeah, E flat fourth finger. And because I played my first two fingers here and then switched to hand position, I'm gonna do the same here. Play my first two fingers, which is four and two. So play the E flat with my fourth finger. Okay, E flat with my fourth finger. The D with my second finger. Now let's uh, switch back to the fourth onto the C sharp, yeah? So E flat four, D two, C sharp four, and now two on the C, one on the B, and now switch back to B flat on the four, A second finger, G sharp one, and open G. Okay. And so that again, all the way up and down would be G, A flat, A second finger, switch, B flat first finger, B a second finger, C fourth finger, switch, C sharp first finger, D second finger, and E flat fourth finger. Okay, and coming down, E flat, D second finger, now switch, to C sharp, four, C two, B first finger, now switch back to B flat, four, A two, A sharp, I mean A flat or G sharp, and then open G. Okay, so that is actually really meticulously going through um, our um, <coughs> chromatic runs here, our chrom like chromatic little runs all the way from a G to B, G to C, G to C sharp, G to D, and G to E flat, which is quite a bit of range now. We're not, not far from the octave divider here, so we're doing really well here, okay. Now, obviously, <coughs> it will be the same on all the different strings. The, uh, the, the notes will be different, okay. So when you do this, just go up to one thing at a time and really learn your notes in that one run. And when you're get, getting com comfortable, then go to the next run. Yeah? And tell your notes yourself, you know, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, C, B, B flat, A, G sharp, G. This is a really, um, although you may, say, may think that it's, it's not a very exciting exercise, but it's a very, very rewarding exercise because you will learn so much out of, of, out of, out of playing these uh, different little chromatic lines uh, coming up to different notes on the fingerboard here. Okay, so this is it. This is on the G string and um, I'm gonna include all the other strings as well, but I'm gonna make them into a separate video at, at each time because um, I think it's a better, better idea if you have time to just look at one string at a time, okay?